Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be going through about a dozen keyboard shortcuts that you can use with OpenOffice. Now keyboard shortcuts, we use keyboard shortcuts because they make us faster when we're using software than if we are just using our mouse. Another thing to bear in mind, just as I've got OpenOffice open in front of us is the icons at the top. Now these are special high contrast icons and I've created a video about how if you want high contrast icons or you need them because they're easier for you to see I've created a video about how you change the standard icons to the high contrast ones. So if you just look in my channel and look for that video about high contrast icons and open office. Okay, anyway, back to keyboard shortcuts. So the first keyboard shortcut that I want to go through. Now if you look up here, this will help us with the first keyboard shortcuts. This document is called Untitled 1. The first keyboard shortcut is Control key hold it down, press N and that creates a new document which up here you can see we've got a new document, it's untitled 2. The next keyboard shortcut is Control and O and Control and O enables us to open documents, previous documents that we've done and I've got a document here called Test so let's quickly load that up Okay, so that was Control and O that got us this document called Test Open. Okay, the next document, I'm going to just going to add something here. I'll just add the next word of Test. Okay, the next keyboard shortcut, which is just enables us to save the document, is Control and press S. And you can see here that there was something happened on the screen, and it saved this new version of the test. Now. Another keyboard shortcut that's related to saving a document is saving a document as. This is when you want to save a new version of a document. So instead of saving, so you want to call it by a new name. So instead of just doing Control and S, you do Control, Shift and S. And that way, I've got the original document which is Test, and I can save this one with a new document name. So I can save this as, I don't know, test one, for instance, and then click save. So that is control shift and S enables us to save as saving a modified document with a new name. Okay. The next one is control and Q. Now control and Q together shuts down open office okay let's control and Q so let's open it up again and I'll tell you what we'll open up my test document there we go just make it f full screen the next keyboard shortcut is control and P which enables us to print and you can see here there's there's my printer that I normally use a Canon okay that's control and print okay control shift and J give us oh let's just do it properly control shift and J take away all the menus, the icons menus at the top and give us full screen. Okay and if we press Control, Shift and J again it brings them back. So that's really nice if you're working on something when you don't need to keep going to the menus because it gives you a bigger view of what you're working on. Now Control and then pressing the F12 key like so, enables us to add a, or insert a table and here we can control just how many columns 
and rows that we want to add. So that's Control and F12. So let's just get rid of that. Right, the next keyboard shortcut is Control and F. This enables us to find various words in the document and then also to replace them. If we press the F7 key, it takes us to the spelling and grammar check. Let's just do that again. There we go, the F7 key. Control and A select all of the text in the document and then the final one that I want to show you is in fact, let's just open up let's just open up another document as well so now I've got two documents open I've got test and test one open if you press alt and F4 what it does is it shuts down it closes document that you are currently working in but it doesn't close down open office you remember that control and Q shut down open office and kind of closed it completely but alt and F4 close the current document that you're working on so that's it there was about 13 14 different shortcuts there that you can use with open office remember if you use your keyboard shortcuts you become a much faster user and worker Thank you for watching this video. Any comments, please leave them in the comments below the video.